Okay, we go on um, with the presentation by the Beneteau Group on sustainable propulsion systems. And uh, I have here, um, like to call on stage Delphine, Vice President Purchasing Group Beneteau, Boat Division. Delphine, good morning, good afternoon. Good I think morning. it's around noon. Good morning, good morning. I don't know if this is, yeah, this is working. Yeah, Hi it's here. working. Then uh, we have Isabel, Director of Global Business Development at Torquedo, <laughs> and Alexandre Monjean, I hope I did it right, uh, did. CEO of Vision Marine Technologies. The stage is yours. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you for attending. <laughs> um, I will just start with a very brief introduction of Group Beneteau, and then I will leave the floor to Isabel and Alexandre, who will tell you more about the fantastic job, the job they're doing with their companies. So I'm, I'm being told Stop I have to <laughs> press a button. There you go. So I'm a VP purchasing at Group Beneteau. We are a boat builder, um, originally from France, but we actually have a global organization, a global footprint across seven countries. And we are structured around three core activities, boat building, of course, but also the services and a housing division. Um, we are a 1.3 billion euro company, and it's over 7,600 of us worldwide. I was told that German technology was reliable. It is. <laughs> there you go. Did that go too fast? No. Um, a word on sustainability. So, of course, sustainability at Group Beneteau is one of our core objectives. It's one of our key pillars for our let's go, let's go beyond strategic plan. And we take this very seriously and we really strive on sustainability. And we have been for the past decade. If you can please make this go forward. Thank you. Um, three pillars. For the sustainability, of course, an engaged crew. We are a people company. We are a listed, but yet again, family-owned company. Ethical growth, because we genuinely focus on long-lasting partnerships. And preserved ocean, on which we will focus today. Here, we touch, of course, on the environment on which our product evolves. The roadmap over the past decade, we're actually fairly proud of our achievements rooted in quality systems and springing towards sustainability, life cycle um, assessments being, of course, the ultimate goal. And we are definitely focused on biosourcing, recyclability of the materials, and of course, carbon neutral systems that we fit within um, our crafts. Moving forward. So today to focus on preserved ocean, um, of course, when you are a boat builder manufacturing over 11,000 new crafts per year, for the sailboat side of things, you're wind powered, so you're fairly green. But when it comes to power boat, whether they be outboard or inboard, uh, obviously the, the carbon impact of the propulsion of the energy pack is extremely important. Um, preserving the ocean is actually our sheer mission statement our mission, st mission statement as a company is bringing dreams to water. To be able to do that, you need to preserve the ocean on which your boats are sailing worldwide. So obviously, focusing specifically on the propulsion, if you help me shift forward, thank you. Focusing specifically on the propulsion, we have, of course, very long-standing partnerships with the big five, big six traditional engine manufacturers, combustion engine manufacturers. Here, we're referring to Volvo Penta, Yanma, Cummins for the inboard, and of course, Yamaha, Mercury, Suzuki for the outboards, traditional outboards. And we know that all these companies are also very much focused on trying to find solutions, hybrid, etc. However, we are also extremely proud and very much chuffed to witness that on the market, we have new challenges, we have newcomers. Um, and we have been tying partnerships, very strong partnerships, with two of these companies who have a clear focus on the electrical propulsion side of things. They're here today, and I will leave the floor to them, but I want you to save the date for 2030. 
Bear in mind that by 2030, we at Group Beneteau have a strong commitment that 100% of our boat models will be compatible with one or several alternative propulsion systems. The stakes are huge. The job to be done is massive, gigantic, and there is definitely room for everyone, both the traditional engine manufacturers, power pack providers, and also the newcomers. So here's to you, Isabel. I think it's your responsibility to keep going. Okay, thank you. Thank Cheers. you so much, Delphine, for the introduction and for having us here as, uh, as your partner. Um, I'm representing Torquedo today. Um, Torquedo is the global leader of uh, electric um, outboards and inboard motors for the marine industry, 100% electric motors. Actually, Torquedo has already been founded in 2005 at Lake Starnberg, close to Munich in Germany. Uh, this is where we are born, and uh, since then we have brought more than 200,000 of electric motors into the market. Why am I, am I telling this to you? Because it means that electric propulsion already is there. It's not the future, it exists today, and it actually exists since many years already. We have a super wide product range um, and the uh, latest technologies in our portfolio. That means we have motors from 0.5 kilowatt to 200 kilowatt of propulsive power in an integrated system. And we are a system integrator. That means um, to our boat builder partners, such as Group Beneteau, we can deliver fully integrated systems, including battery management, um, energy management, and the whole intelligence of the system coming from one hand and from one uh, supplier and partner to design it best for the boat builder and for the use case um, that is needed. Uh, we are made in Germany engineering and production company, just uh, moved into a new building uh, by uh, end of last year. So we also confirmed to, to and commit to be made in Europe and made in Germany for the future, which I think in this uh, volatile times becomes more and more important, um, not only having a sustainable product, but taking care of the whole chain, including production and the whole company philosophy um, to have um, best and green impact uh, on the environment, because this is all our responsibility. Um, we are the partner of Group Beneteau, Please. <laughs> um, so we are since um, many years partner of Group Beneto now. Together we have electrified four different models and uh, three different brands. So we are collaborating on the day sailing part. Uh, no, one back, please. <laughs> Not there yet. Exactly. Um, so, for example, for the Oceanus 30.1, we uh, supply our cruise pod system, 6 kilowatt powerful pod motor, um, to make the Oceanus, which is a super nice day sailor, also a um, sustainable alternative uh, to the market, to the boaters, and um, for charter companies as well. Um, when we look more into luxury sailing or more demanding environments, we can provide our cruise pod twin system with two cruise 12 kilowatt motors to power the Oceanus, uh, sorry, the first 44, which is a sustainable concept as a whole. And of course, um, Delphia, which is the, the brand for mindful inland water cruising, where we supply our high voltage inboard motors. Um, you can also see them here on the boat show. I think all of these models I'm talking about can be here on can be seen here on a boat show. So it's uh, real boats and not just a prototype. And last but not least, um, the XS15 where we introduced our hybrid sailing system for even more demanding environments when you want to go further, when you want to go far away from the coast. There we have a hybrid system that allows the owner or the skipper to go far, but still enjoy the privileges and the benefits of going electric, um, which is, of course, important for the 
environment, not only talking about that, but also about the comfort aspects. Having not the generator running all the time, but having silence on the boat when you're in, in a nice spot. You don't want to be interrupted by a generator or a combustion uh, outboard motor um, running. So this is, of course, the other benefits that can offer you an electric system. So since yeah, some years we are now a strong partner for Group Beneteau and they are a strong partner for us as well. I think we can only do this change uh, all together. And um, yeah, we are very proud to do not only prototype development, but also serial design ins and to deliver these solutions to the market today and show that it's the reality and that electric propulsion is happening now and today. And um, yeah, just for you, I have also brought a small int a video. First, the photos, of course, but I think you have seen, you have seen them. The Delphia left side uh, electric um, mindful inland waterway cruising. The first 44, of course, a perfect model and showcase of a total sustainable concept, not only talking about the propulsion, but about the whole boat itself. And the XS15, who is now running in Brazil, by the way, uh, so she went very far <laughs> across the globe and making um, yeah, electric um, sailing, hybrid sailing also possible all over the world. So just a small introduction um, about the Torquedo company in our video to have to get a feeling about us, please. Thank you. Yeah, so we are leader, of course, in what we are doing. We are proving that electric mobility on the water is happening today and is there. But apparently, we're not the only one. <laughs> and that's thankfully, good. thankfully, you're not the only one. And thankfully, we are not the only one <laughs> for you. <laughs> no, um, and I think this is amazing to see how the whole industry develops and that there are so many good players there as well that are challenging us, that are challenging the whole industry to become greener and more sustainable. And that's why I'm very happy to hand over to Alex now. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Everyone, my name is Alex Mongeon, CEO of Vision Marine Technology, publicly listed, listed company on the NASDAQ as well. So I've been in the business of electric boating since 1995, so it's almost three decades. I was customers of Beneteau, of uh, Torquedo as well, when we were building boats. And along the way, we needed to find a solution that could be sold and helped uh, to provide it to the other uh, boat manufacturers, such as Beneteau today. So Vision Marine Technology has developed one of the world's most powerful electric outboard. We're providing 180 horsepower at the moment uh, for the whole industry. So it's a full integration that can be upscaled with two or three batteries. Uh, it does come with a fully integrated charging station. So basically any boat can use, that needs an outboard can use our technology. We are proud to say that things are changing and OEMs are actually reviewing the way that um, they're going to be selling and building boats in the next years. And I'm happy to be part of one uh, of the project of Beneteau. The first uh, four win H2 uh, was born over a year and a half ago. We were doing the review and the testing for many months and hours on that boat during the winter 2022, even 2021 in three different locations. 
Canada, California, and Florida. So we have three uh, testing centers in the US. Linamar McLaren is doing the mass assembly of our technology. They can build up to 18,000 outboards per year. They have a solid knowledge and background in the marine industry as well. So we are proud to say that we need more OEMs to move forward into uh, the green technology as the electric outboard that we are providing to the market. The speed and the range of the outboard is close to what people are expecting with the ice engine outboards. We are providing te a technology that could push boats at least for uh, two hours and a half at planing speed, depending on the hulls. Those systems are made for boats between 16 to 28 feet, single and twin application. The result that we had with the H2 were amazing. In, two, in a few weeks, we'll be able to see trial that boat as well at the Miami Boat Show. So the vision of Vision Marine Technology is to see more OEMs using our technology. So we have at least five different OEMs that are under reviewing our technology. But Benito is the first one who was actually moving forward in, to um, commercializing the product. So you're going to see delivery of those systems and boats uh, as early as 2023. So we need more OEMs and uh, ice engine OEMs moving forward with green technology. We want to see Mercury, we want to see Yamaha coming along with something electric that could be pushing other uh, boats, pontoons, center console boats. Things are changing and it was, it's not something that we need and talk in two, three years. We need to move forward now. Uh, there's Avenue and there's good partners providing different types of solution. I think that's pretty what uh, Vision Marine is doing now for the industry. That was one of the latest uh, product that we launched with uh, Four Wind H2, a boat built in Cadillac, Michigan. So those boats will be able to sea trial and purchase uh, as early as today. And uh, there are going to be sea trial at the Miami Boat Show in a few weeks. Maybe we have a video, I think, of that boat. My... OK. If you have any questions for Torquedo or Vision Marine, please shoot. Yes, absolutely. I have the microphone here. Any questions? I hand over the microphone. Not for now. Everybody's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's electric. Or electric is quiet. It's silent. <laughs> <laughs> That's Correct. what it is. Correct. Thank you very much for coming. For very interesting us. presentation. Thank Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.